Hello and welcome back to Dicebreaker, where we are here for our next RPG session and joined by a very, very special guest who's going to be GMing for us today, Ark. Uh, Mementos, welcome to Dicebreaker. Tell us a little bit about Ark and what we're going to be doing today. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So I'm Mementos. I created Ark, which is a tabletop RPG where you try to confront the Doom. But of course, the Doom can be the end of the world or it could be something as simple as your uncle is coming over to ruin your wedding but the oh, God. <laughs> the thing about arc though is that Amazing. there is a real time component to it so at the end of a time let's say for three hours the doom will happen and it will keep on progressing the timer will inexorably tick down it's up to the players to save the world before then but if the time runs out then it'll happen so I'm really excited to finally run this game for everybody at Dicebreaker, and I hope you enjoy the game. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know if we mentioned that to everyone, that, yeah, this game is real time. So mm. uh, it's kind of the the ultimate RPG to do a like a live action play of, because you've got a, you've got a hard limit on both ends which is great <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um we but tell us this thing going stop yeah. procrastinating come on <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little bit about how we play Mamas. all right so there is the real-time component the timer which will start as soon as the adventure begins but during the adventure heroes will of course interact with the world around them and there's going to be some challenges along the way so in a lot of rpgs you will need to do a skill check so in art the skill check is a matter of combining your skill ranks which is how good your hero as it at a skill plus their approach which is how they like to solve problems whether creatively carefully or concertedly so you add those two numbers together to get the threshold number then you roll a d6 if you go over your threshold you've exerted yourself a bit too far your <laughs> skill doesn't exactly happen and the challenge still isn't resolved but if you hit under the threshold number you apply your skill well your approach works and the problem is solved of course if you hit equal to the threshold number it's going to result in a couple of fun complications as well <laughs> then there's also mechanics for doing um conflict how to deal with um potential enemies and there are a couple of skills that support that as well as two different kinds of health which is your blood and your guts so basically it's very fast very streamlined but the important thing is that the clock will keep on ticking which is terrifying so tense so tense yeah, i feel like keanu reeves in speed right now <laughs> <laughs> dennis hopper is, is he's menacing me <laughs> Uh, so Ark works in any setting, um, but we have been uh, lovingly created a setting uh, from as uh, we're going to be playing in a sort of like uh, fairy tale world. Uh, so we've we've got a few characters that will probably ring some bells. Um, I've but just realised that we're in a fairy tale setting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, I knew that. I knew it, but I ignored it when I made my character. <laughs> Lolis, Lolis is from a different type of book, which you'll you'll Actually, find. Well, let's. No, I think mine still works. You'll uh, uh, when I tell you about him, I think you'll it, it still okay. works in the setting actually. Um, all right. but all right, well, let's go with Lolis last then because we've we've hyped it up now. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be playing as a character called Brave Sir Knight, uh, who uses he him pronouns. Uh, he is your classic Arthurian style chivalrous knight who is out to protect the good folk and uh, and quest and do all the things he can to make himself uh, a myth and a legend. Um, but he's uh, he's probably a little bit too ambitious and maybe a little bit <laughs> a little bit overstretching himself. Uh, all accounts. He's like, I can do that. I can help when he's on like one health. Uh, but we'll, we'll find out a little bit more about him. Uh, Liv, who are you going to be playing as today? Um, I'm going to be playing as Isabel, who um, she, her pronouns. Um, she is an alchemist and she's rather intelligent. Um, and she approaches thing quite, things quite creatively. She, you know, she thinks outside the box. Um, but yeah, she's uh, she is very intelligent, but she's also got like you know, a bit of guile to her, you know, just a bit of a bit of a bit of, a bit of gumption, sort of underlying <laughs> the gumption, very gutsy, mm. is also a thing that she is. So um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Mian. Yeah, I I will be playing a character called Scarlet Hood, 
Oink. <laughs> uh, she goes by she her pronouns and yeah she just uh, she's a little girl and she loves her grandmother mm-hmm. and she loves delivering <gasps> baked I, goods i only just now got that reference you've only <laughs> really? just got it <laughs> i thought it was like something to do with scarlet your hands i wasn't really getting it <laughs> Oh, well, Scarlett Johansson will probably play her in the film, to be fair. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, exactly. They'll use technology to make her look like a little girl. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and she carries a little basket and she's got a little red hood on and she just comes along for the adventure. Uh, but there is just something about her that, that um, you know, it's Off. odd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Lilies? I will be playing the sulk. Um, <laughs> he, him are his pronouns. Um, he might ring a bell. He's kind of similar to a fairly well-known uh, <laughs> character <laughs> in, uh, in pop culture who yeah, I will not original name. Original character, do not, do not steal. steal yeah. <laughs> Um, but he's he's uh, he's kind of similar to the brave Sir Knight actually in that like he's kind of like uh, you know he's pretty beefy. Um, he will like r- just run head first into a fight. He but, but he does it not because he's like brave or like for necessarily for mega good reasons. It's because he's a bit dumb. So like <laughs> he he wants to like help as well. So like um, he really wants to look after Scarlet, for example, who is a child. But um, but he just also doesn't really think, and he just goes in like head first without thinking. Um, he is so big, like you know, in every sense of the word, that like some people think that he's like a giant, like an actual giant, but he's not. Um, he's cool. not. He's just a very large human. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. So what you're what you're telling me is that we've got two himbos. Yeah. No, he's not. And... Brave tonight is not. <laughs> <him>. <laughs> And they're, es- they're escorting these two, these two gentle creatures. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Gentle creatures. <laughs> Look, you don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I do, oh, this is a question. Oh, my mate, I was, oh, I, well, I'll ask you this. Um, we have persistent rumours. Do we know these rumours? Does everyone know the rumours to start off with? Uh, it's up to you to say who knows these rumours. So oh. it could be quite widespread mm. or just among your family and friends or it could be a strange rumor that the prince knows about mm. okay. i think well, for the silk i think his rumors are things that people talk about all the time because i say he like you know it's like i'm saying people think that he's like a giant um they think that uh he was raised by giants he think that he only eat. They they think that he only eats human flesh, and uh, they think that he killed his own family. As in, like, oh wow, God. yeah, that <laughs> escalated, he's, he's escalated some, so quickly. He's got that some he, bad yeah. PR. <laughs> he, well, yeah, it's, it's because like I think he people look at him and they just make assumptions about him just based on his looks. But he's actually he's actually quite gentle and and like a really nice person. But a gentle non giant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think people would know about Brave tonight from the persistent rumors about him that he no longer fights for a lord. Uh, he, he walks on what is called the path, uh, out just helping all the people he can, not not serving any uh, any feudal <laughs> uh, excerpts. Um, he pulls his blows when he fights because he's never sure if he's fighting someone who um, oh, doesn't nice. deserve it. He, he always always makes sure yeah. that he's targeting someone who deserves a fight before he actually starts hurting them. Um, and he has trouble sleeping. Oh. Well, huh. this okay. time of year, you know. Yeah. Is that I mean, a rumor? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I heard. <laughs> I well, you know, he might, if you're camping with him, you might hear him yell out in the night when he wakes up from a bad oh. dream. Oh, good. Yeah. I heard his um, sleep app results are rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Isabel, um, g- these are just general rumors that people pro- would probably know about. Um, uh, the first one is that she killed her first husband. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> gentle <laughs> Light and breezy. Light and breezy. Uh, the second is that she learned alchemy from witches. And the third is that her family was trampled to death by a herd of raging beasts. Oh my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yours are quite similar to mine. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> 
Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Liv's gone for the classic RPG character background of, my parents are dead. <laughs> <laughs> dead when I was a child, I made my own way. Yeah. <laughs> I think the only rumour you've probably heard about Scarlet Hood is that she's a daughter of a baker um, who mysteriously val- vanished in uh, an, an explosion. Okay. Oh <laughs> Brave tonight is traveling with people he may not be comfortable. I can only with. assume that they are good of heart. Well, the sock, the sock does has doesn't or hasn't done any of the things that people are rumoring about him. It's yeah, just people are just spreading lies. Yeah, um, you could just be saying that. But... <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was an explosion. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anyway. Right, um, Mamatos, before, yes. before, we, uh, before we get one of the party members arrested, would you like to <laughs> introduce us to the world? All right. So the world, I may have to adjust it a bit because I was visualizing it as like pastoral, peaceful town surrounding a, col- a kingdom. <laughs> but now I've heard there were, meant there were be, explosions, you know. <laughs> there is husband murder. So um, I guess it's a fairly busy town, but at the center of it is the magnificent summer palace where the summer prince permanently resides. So every year... Um, plants w- from all over the kingdom would come to the palace to have a grand gala and they would be wearing the last um, I guess spring vestments their last hurrah and just enjoying each other's company so the time of the gala has come again it's usually a three day occasion it's quite fun you will see plants from all over the world um, drive by the town uh, some of them do have cars, some of them will fly, and most of them will just teleport off the ground. But there are a couple of plants flowering perennial with uh, beautiful adornments around them. And it's usually quite a gay, happy occasion for the town. However, the on the third day of the festival, the very last day, something strange has finally been noticed and acknowledged even by the mayor of the town. The children are no longer laughing, they are no longer playing, they are just sitting dull in their homes, staring out or responding in monotone. So everybody is quite worried, but nobody's quite raising a ruckus yet because maybe this is just temporary, maybe it's just something in the water again, or maybe it's the witch playing prank, but the mayor is at the end of his wits. He has tried to seek out the audience of the prince, but Every time he goes to the castle, he has been rebuffed with, no, he is busy. He cannot see you at all. He, it is quite confusing for him because the prince has always been approachable. And as far as everybody knows, he's just there to open the gala, but he's still available the whole three days. So now he's quite desperate and he is asking for help from four intrepid adventurers of various <laughs> reputation. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where the story begins and something i also want to note that the real timer is i guess going to start when we begin our first scene i thought you were going to say it starts now go, go. <laughs> yeah, I, I reckon it starts now let's go let's do this I'm not preamble <laughs> All right, so the okay. Doomsday Clock, um, I will be running this as a, um, I guess, two and a half hour or three hour session, which means it has mm-hmm. nine moments. So every time, um, every half hour, one moment will pass and we will have a chance to roll some dice to see if we will use up more moments. And at the end of those nine moments, the Doom will come. So... Let's see if we manage to save the world before then and save the children. <laughs> so let me know if you are ready to begin. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. All right, let get high. No Woo. taking back, sees. I'm starting the timer now. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is cleaning my windows outside right now. So it's also like an ominous rainfall that's just dropped outside the window. Ooh, thematic. Mm. I love it. Pathetic fallacy. So, okay. before you are at the mayor's office, it is quite busy, quite lots of books. There are some assistants scurrying about, and the mayor, who is a 
man-sized pangolin by the way just has his hands on his face and he's like i'm at my wit's end i can't reach the prince i even tried uh reaching out to his butler mayflower but she isn't responding either the situation with the children clearly cannot go on i believe you might be able to talk to the prince because you know a brave knight a giant an alchemist and i don't know why she's here why a child is here at all but she seems to be very competent uh i would really love your help getting this letter to the prince to ask him for help in this situation so look not giant <laughs> uh, um, y- y- yes, the the large, uh, larger than average median creature. Um, v- very. <laughs> so it, he's quite a nice mayor, but it's obvious that he is really more focused on the bureaucracy bits, on the coordination bits, <laughs> and he's trying his best to do an impassioned speech to convince everyone. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so are you entirely sure about uh, the the children? This one seems fine. Hi! <laughs> uh, I admit, I, I don't know why. Um, maybe, maybe it's all children except for people wearing red. Maybe. Uh, um, Bartleby, assistant, try to make the children all wear red to see if it works and <laughs> make them laugh again. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. But the assistant scurries off. But that'll take quite a so- while. So... Silk will Ooh. talk, Prince. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are right, my my good friend. He um, braves tonight, unsheaths his blade, places it down into the floor, and kneels with his head low down. <laughs> I swear a vow to you, Samaya. We will bring laughter and children's joy back to the city. <laughs> there, there's tears uh, on the mayor's eyes. You're not, <laughs> you're not sure if it's out of gratitude or if it's because your, your sword just kind of dented the uh, wooden floor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what lovely hardwood floor he has, but I've skewered it. <laughs> so the mayor is like quite happy and he tells you, well, um, the usual way is to just go in, knock in, and make an appointment with the butler or with through any of the guards, but that hasn't been working quite so well lately, obviously. Uh, I'm not sure who we can ask for help. Um, I, I don't want to smash a wall in, but I think <laughs> if we're quite desperate, uh, I don't know, he, he wrings his hands and looks quite at a loss. <laughs> Meanwhile, one of the assistants wow. goes in, has a whole stack of red hoods on his arms. Sir, where should I put this? <laughs> Also, sir. Fashion icon. <laughs> also, sir, the, the Noblin is out there again insisting for the engineering contracts to be signed. <laughs> and, uh. Well, I'm sure if, if the prince and the mayor are willing to compensate us enough, we'll be able to help perfectly fine. I want to see the children laugh again. I don't know why they're not laughing and smiling, surrounded by all this lovely gold and flowers <laughs> and gold and. <laughs> And flowers and wealth and um. Anyway, does anyone want to change their bond from, <laughs> <laughs> from Scott? Uh, Brave Samara, I surely uh, uh, must uh, uh, point out that my my companion here, my small child companion, is merely jesting. This uh, this is a task we will not be expecting compensation for. What? Is that not? Uh, the, the mayor is like, thank you, thank you so much. Boy, will be write that down in the contract. No compensation <laughs> expected. But perhaps we could treat you to a tavern or whatever libation if we succeed. So yes, I will sign straight away. <laughs> I'm, uh, no, just to address that, number one, I'm a child. Um, <laughs> so drinking, not really my thing. Uh, number two... I don't remember seeing this contract, and I'd very much like to see it before we sign it up. Thank you very much. Yes, good. And to read the fine print in detail, and also you will find that we have not signed it yet. So worry not. I have signed on behalf of the entire. No, party. you're not. No, you're not. No. <laughs> Legally speaking, that's not correct. <laughs> I'm sure I could have one of my agents sign up a wonderful contract for you, dear mayor. 
uh, the mayor looks quite <laughs> at a loss because the, the night has already started signing, but the party suddenly started disputing it. And it's like, oh, oh, oh fine. Oh, we, to make everybody happy, we will make a kind donation of a year's worth of food supply so you will never have to think about your living expenses while you stay in this kingdom. How about that? How about that? Suck like food. Yes. Um, food is very important. <laughs> and I hope see. that there are lots of vegetables. <laughs> no. Uh, Suck so meat. like <laughs> one moment Scarlet Hood's face sort of goes on like this. Like... <laughs> 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 like... I'm sure we can arrange something. <laughs> Isabel takes one step away from Scarlet. <laughs> She's now standing there just like going like that and she's got her hand like on the ends of her dress <laughs> right well i think it's probably about time we uh made a move then right yes <laughs> there is no time to spare i imagine <laughs> <laughs> the, the mayor takes you on your way and then he says if you need any information bart will be here will be happy to provide meanwhile i do have some bureaucratic tasks i need to attend to thank you so much for thinking of the children then he rolls away as a, because he's a pangolin. <laughs> because he's a pangolin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Bartleby is a very mousy assistant. He has large spectacles. He's managing to juggle the red hoods and looking quite lost because the mayor went away without telling what they were going to be used for. And then he just looks at you and says, oh, um, may, may I assist in, in any way then? Perhaps you should join us on on the uh, the path to the the prince's castle. I imagine uh, because we we have very little time to spare. We should walk and talk, as it were. Uh, uh, well, well then, uh, uh, would you mind if I carry can this? Can I help you with those red hoods? Yeah, yeah I can yes, help perfect, you carry some. Perfectly. She like takes some of them. <laughs> so he he gives some of the like red hoods. Yeah, opening up my satchel to offer some some space for for. Traveling. I don't know what he asked. In me. fact, I will I will carry you yourself if you wish, <laughs> Mr. Bartleby. Oh, fantastic! The, there is plenty of room on my shoulders. The, the arthritis has set in I'm... quite early this morning, so it would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got room on your other shoulder, I wouldn't mind taking a seat. Yeah, yes, of course. <laughs> Wonderful. She, <laughs> she puts on her jacket and she's very fashion forward and she takes a seat. <laughs> I I love the image of like. <laughs> brave sir and i like struggling under the weight of two people on his shoulders and me like looming over him clearly like <laughs> super strong just i'm not even holding a cloak i've got nothing <laughs> yeah i'm like walking forward for, like struggling with every step and i'm like don't 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 trouble yourself sulk i've, I've got this one handled <laughs> So, so a fine see. job, a fine so, job. So, out of curiosity, <laughs> let's make a skill check out of that to see if you manage to balance them or Ooh. poor Viral Bay is going to be rolling <laughs> on the dirt somewhere. So, a skill check would be your skill, which is how many ranks or ticks you have in physique and how you would That's like two. to approach managing two I'm, I'm giving this concerted effort. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. So I also have two in concerted. This is what I'm all about. So uh, there's going to be four is my threshold number. So I'm rolling my d6. Uh, and I roll a five. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, dear. <laughs> so you train <laughs> under the weight of Bartleby and also of Isabel. And it it makes for quite a brave sight but it is a bit too much and you end up <laughs> accidentally letting go of them as there's a burst of red hoods all around. <laughs> so the, as you were making... Can your... I try and catch one of them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can yeah. either, I think, make it a physique check as well, but make it quite easy. So the threshold number, we can add plus one to your skills and approach. Okay. So I think, uh, yeah, I'll be concerted as well. Uh yeah, so physical and concerted. Okay, so I'm trying to be a four, or get lower than a four, and I got two. Yay. Hey. So you managed to catch <laughs> both of them, and, and people are like, "Wow, that's so cool!" Yay! It's really and there were the rumors like it's really nice to have a giant here in town. <laughs> 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 um, I I catch them and I like place them very carefully back onto Brave Sir Knight's shoulders. <laughs> 
thank you, Selk. Thank, oh, you, thank you, Selk. <laughs> <laughs> During all of this time, like Isabel's like got like a perfectly like legs like draped over one over the other, just like really pristine yeah. looking, just sat upright. <laughs> As if you're riding a horse. Like side yeah. Yeah. Doing this, Brave Tonight is wearing a full suit of armor <laughs> with a massive satchel on his back as well. And it's like visibly sweating. <laughs> so everybody's making their way to the to the summer castle, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So with our letter. Yeah. <laughs> so the the guards at the door already immediately see you it's quite an easy sight when there's a knight <laughs> with two people on his shoulders and uh, the large sulk and also a strange <laughs> a strange scarlet hooded girl along with them honestly she's the one who is looking the most complete normal <laughs> despite the fact that there's a sinister look about her kind face <laughs> and the... yeah she's she's been skipping along behind them and somehow like there are little flower petals sort of like falling behind her. I can only assume that she's ominously singing a nursery rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the guards um, hail you and then say, what hole are, is your purpose? Suck <laughs> one sea prince! <laughs> Yeah, there you the, the prince Perhaps is. I might try to say something, but just panted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry. The prince is fully occupied with the summer gala. Perhaps you may have an appointment next week when the calendar is open again. So think... th- scales, sorry. So scales and goes. So no need appointment. <laughs> uh, I think Scarlet Hood, even though she was at the back of the group somehow steps forward but is now suddenly at the front of the group uh and um those red hoods she was holding are just gone uh she's just holding a little her little basket again and she looks up at them like hi hey (laughs) my name's scarlet hood and it would be really nice if we could see the print because you see my my father <laughs> and we really need his help. Oh, please! <laughs> and she's gonna try and like persuade them to let to let them in. Okay. She, tears are actually coming out of her, the corners of her eyes. Do we notice like a small bottle that's like? <laughs> 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 that sounds like a guile check. Mm-hmm. Sounds quite okay. Uh, yeah. Just as an aside, um, yeah. I wonder whether I put my my thing in the wrong thing. Um, Were you thinking more like guile rather than commit charisma, or like switching those around, or? Uh, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't actually notice guile, so. Um, okay. It makes <laughs> yeah, it makes sense now. <laughs> Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got um, Twin Guile, and what kind of approach do I decide the approach? Yeah, decide the approach. Yeah, I think she's definitely going to do this. She's she's kind of thinking of like a creative way of. of I'd, yeah, I'd say it's quite creative. Yeah, yeah. like. Yeah. You're um, lying, so you're going to have to create something, aren't you? <laughs> yep. Is she lying? Who knows? <laughs> Who could say? <laughs> um. Yeah, okay, so I've got yeah, two in guile and two in creative. The that that means my target number is four. Mm. Four. Mm. Okay, and I'm rolling one D six. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I rolled a six. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if anybody do have bonds they could assist. If they try to assist, they can add their major levels of bond or they could sp- Use up one of the minor boxes to make it uh, another reroll. Oh right, okay. So uh, I I'll help. Okay, so how many bonds do you have with Scarhood? I have four. So yeah. for this one, we usually try to do the assist before the roll, but for the sake of the um pretty poor <laughs> Scarhood with tears in her eyes and her poor um need to get into the castle let us make her re-roll and the tn will now be tr- oh sorry not tree five okay 
Right. Very kind. <laughs> Let's try this again. Please don't get a six again. Okay, I rolled a three. Okay, great. Okay. So the knights, the guards at the front are quite moved at your story and they start to make way for you but then suddenly one of the um there are some people plants lined up at the entrance going hup, hup, why are is she getting in why are you letting her in we have been waiting here for hours and you are letting some weird child get in ahead of us excuse me may i please complain to your manager and <laughs> oh no oh no so it's a couple of like Sorry, Rampurus, venus fly traps who seem to have been camped there for quite a while so they're snapping their heads quite testily and the um. <laughs> suddenly one of the head knights um emerged from the doors and she looks quite frustrated um quite stressed out and she says this is quite um out of line we are not following the paperwork here the two of you are already on such a thin line i've already given you your performance review i am not happy so you know what um the uh, scarlet child a uh, giant and the other knight with two people on his shoulders come over here let us sign some forms so we could introduce you into the palace of uh, venus fly traps everybody let us form orderly in a line in our office so <laughs> Mm. Yes, um, thank you, I love signing forms. <laughs> <laughs> I think As... instantly Scarlet mm-hmm. Hood is gonna instantly stop crying. <laughs> and like, of course she is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the tears were never on her face, and she just beams and says, "Thank you so much." <laughs> As we're going past, and I'm still sat atop um, tonight, um, I feel like she's got like a little chemistry set out, like just like <laughs> like going away at it. Um, and as the Venus flytraps fly start to pipe up, uh, she's like just mixing together some stuff. She's got like a tiny little plant, and she just pours like bloop bloop bloop. <laughs> it just incinerates the plant. She just kind of side eyes <laughs> the flytraps. <laughs> Wait, did you incinerate the plants? Yes, <laughs> not not oh, them, no, not, okay. not like a not little mini version. Just a yes. little, just a little rose bud. No, or just like a little, like a little, like fake thing, but just like it's definitely a plant and it's definitely incinerated. <laughs> <laughs> the Venus flytrap company looks positively shocked at this brazen <laughs> display, <laughs> and they, and they talk among each other, but they don't uh, make a vocal fuss until you reach the the office of the head guard um and there is a large visitor's logbook but there's only one pen and there is quite a line and they are like <laughs> diligently writing their name their address their passport their last meal <laughs> and their favorite color so it's taking quite a long line <laughs> <laughs> so are we are waiting we at the in back the line? of said line yeah so you wait. It's it's pleasant. It's nice and cool. Uh, you see some plants talking amongst themselves. They were late. Um, they were worried. They were already missing the major events. There's a couple of alchemists. There is a young engineer that looks like a green rabbit. There is one of the Venus flytraps. Looks quite shy and is looking into a cage. And the cage has a pet spider that she's looking at quite fondly. And the head guard is just saying, oh, very well. Uh, yes, let us line up. Uh, let's do the proper process. E, yes, ETA, maybe two R's for each person. It, it's just protocol. Of course, we all understand. So firstly, is this like a, a goofy Pluto situation in the sense that this person's spider, pet spider, is, is a spider with no sentience? But the but the because I'm trying to figure out like the an- <laughs> <laughs> like hierarchy. Uh-huh. Um, it is up to you. I leave it up to you. What <laughs> pet spider sentience level is? He could be a prisoner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could be a criminal spider. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is a Venus flytrap. <laughs> Who has this spider? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's, maybe yeah. Oh. it's the lunch. Ooh. It's lunch. Yeah, yeah. Lunch bugs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Two hours. Yes. Well, I don't think Sulka's gonna cue. Sulka's not a cure. I'm sorry, but I think really? um, 
I think the silk is just gonna like march on right out to the top and just like he's gonna grab the pen from the like when he grabs the pen there's a Venus flytrap just writing some things and he like actually he he doesn't even grab the pen he grabs the Venus flytrap and starts like <laughs> writing um, the problem is that he's not very like good at writing so it's mostly just scribbles mm-hmm. um, uh, so yeah he just like fills in everyone's details and then like go uh, turns around and goes come <laughs> the the so head the of the, the knights uh she looks super scandalized she you know how much time she spent putting in the the neat barrier so that the queue would be nice it's like a spiral <laughs> l shape all over the room and she's like oh yeah he just walked right through those yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they're still attached to his yeah. <laughs> i essentially have like i'm essentially wearing a several layer skirt made of barriers <laughs> <laughs> so she, Isabel, like, p- her glasses could go down. She's like, oh, chic. <laughs> <laughs> she, she is super scandalous. She says, that is a violation of um, administrative order 3.52, which is against the disrespect for barriers. You know what? You are going to be officially kicked out of this castle, banned for one week. You are not allowed to come back in. And she calls in some of the guards to accost you and push you out of the castle. <laughs> oh, before that happens, can I do yes. a thing? Is that okay? Okay, I so I would love, if possible, to mix together some of my concoctions and whatever. While this distraction is happening, I would love to burn away some of the bars on the cage that the spider mm-hmm. is in um, <laughs> and release the beast. <laughs> Release the prisoner. <laughs> Release him. Free him. Um, hoping that that w- might cause some kind of a All ruckus. Right. You're putting a um, lot of faith on in this <laughs> small, small spider, was it? This might be my own arachnophobia mm-hmm. speaking. I also think that the Sulk's initial reaction to that whole, you know, we are banned from the castle. I think he like frowns. He picks up the book where he signed all our details and like points. Because he, he did what he was supposed to do. He doesn't really understand what is happening. He's like, I follow the rules. What are you talking about? Um, Bartleby, who is still sitting on Sir Brave Knight's shoulder, tries to smooth oh, yeah. things over <laughs> with the head guard. So they, they squabble for a bit. Meanwhile, um, I believe uh, Isabel is making her secret mm. um, alchemy <laughs> mix. So I would like to yes. call, I guess... Um, Let's use either academic or tinker, maybe academic because it's more science than engineering to see if Shit. you succeed. Okay, you know, so my academic is Juan, and Juan. I think this is Juan. Um, and I believe this is a pretty creative approach, I think. Um, uh, so, yeah, a uh, target of three, uh, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> It's a five. Oh. <laughs> Would anyone... It's so funny that we're like trying to get low numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would anyone like to use up a minor bond to help her re-roll? Or will we see Isabel's um, alchemy not quite go as well as she wanted? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any minor I, bonds. I don't think bond. anyone's got any bonds, do they? Uh, I do. You do. Okay. Um, Scarlet Hood does. So yeah, Scarlet Hood will use one of her bonds and she's going to actually... Um, <laughs> so in her little little basket, um, uh, she's just going to like while everyone's um, sort of getting mixed up with the the hullabaloo, um, she suddenly disappears, and then re then someone reappears. He appears to be a very small, a very small sort of administrative type person. <laughs> um, who is wearing uh yeah a big a big a big a mask that is you know like it looks kind of fashionable and like a suit on uh and uh, they're going to sort of stroll towards where the the commotion is happening and, and go oh what did I say there um, oh, what, what's going on I I must talk about this uh, and. <laughs> They're, they're going to try and make a distraction. Okay. So this is quite okay. a complex <laughs> skill because you're using a distraction while um, Isabel is also doing uh, another distraction. So how we'll do this is <laughs> um, 
I will allow hmm. both of you to re-roll so you don't have to use a bond for this. And if one of you succeeds, then there will be a distraction. So for mm, yeah, cause Scarhood, okay. that would be Guile. Yeah, Scarlet is using... Uh, she's using her disguise kit, by the way. she. <laughs> this isn't just some nonsense I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's always a risk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, and yeah, she's going to yeah once again use her creativity and her guile to try cool. and fool people into thinking that she's some sort of high-ranking administrative individual. Um, so it'll be four. Do you want to go first? Yeah, and then if I okay. succeed, I reckon you'll get a boost. I I think this is. Or you might have already sorted of this direction. She might abandon it, but <laughs> <laughs> it depends on this role. Okay, I rolled a three, so it's under the target number four. So, so the the lead knight um listens to you, looks at Bartleby, looks at everybody, and she just says, "Fine, fine, fine." So the the giant has signed. Technically, it is correct. Um, I do need to just verify if your passport number is correct as well. But you know what? I do not want to deal with this again. The the lady of the Glen has been on my behind. You can go in. Just you know, you of course you know the rules. You are limited to the public places, which is the, the ballroom and the gardens. Oh no, wait! The lady has said the garden is off limits. Just the ballroom for everybody then, and she starts um coordinating with the Venus flytraps. The others who are in the line who look quite surprised at the developments. <laughs> I think she's um, trying to like organize an entire like group of people, uh, but then Brave Tonight just like once again unsheaths his sword, plants it in the ground, and kneels before him and says, "Brave Tonight, you have done us quite an honor. I will forever be in your debt." Just like saying all of these thank yous, and she's like, "Yeah, all right, come on, come on." <laughs> and yeah, and and the sulk just walks through, taking like all the barriers <laughs> with him. <laughs> <laughs> Liv, are um, you are you going to attempt to do the spider spider freedom or um because technically you tr- you did try to do it so i don't know i did try do. to do it so i don't know whether uh, we should she'll... just carry that out and <laughs> yeah <laughs> now nah, like i think maybe she's like seeing that it's all going to plan now she's just gonna kind of like stand up straight beside the person uh the plant and just be like Spiders deserve rights too. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then run after everyone else. Yeah, uh, no click, click lacking in the heels. Yeah. <laughs> Scarlet Hood is like following behind, like shuffling and going, I should, yeah, I should, think, I should think so. It's very good. And then sort of <laughs> shuffles in and disappears behind a pillar for a bit and then reappears as Scarlet Hood again. It's just like, hey! <laughs> Wild. <laughs> so um, she's I think so scary. There's a brief moment where Brave Tonight just sort of leads Scarlet off from away from the group and said and like kneels down to her height and it's like now Scarlet, what have we said about lying? Uh, also disguising yourself as an important person. Uh, also uh, fraud. Uh, now let's remember the words of my lovely squire. Brave Saducky. Now, Brave Saducky always says <laughs> we have to not do crimes. Remember, oh Scarlet? Oh my god. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I do remember. Not do crimes, yeah? Isabel is behind and she's just like, Frog, yeah, don't worry. Don't, don't listen. <laughs> now, I, I'd like to... Crimes are bad, Scarlet, and they make people very upset. So, but... I never did anything. <laughs> <laughs> never ends. <laughs> You know. <laughs> Bartleby, who has been on Brave Sir Knight's shoulder all this time, is completely confused at what is happening. He's <laughs> like, oh, uh, the mayor said you were upstanding citizens. Oh, well, what? Uh, never mind. Uh, the contracts have been signed. Uh, yes, uh, give, give me a moment. And then he drops down from Brave Sir Knight's shoulder and gathers the red hoods that have been strewn about in the distractions. <laughs> As All they right. say, Bartleby, so that means... let the duck who is without sin cast the first breadcrumb. <laughs> <laughs> that will be a great tattoo. But in the <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the, the party was able to make circles around the lead knight, sign the logbook, make off with some of the barriers and the red hoods, 
and the way is open towards at the very least the large ballroom where the gala is supposed to be taking place and now let us take a brief moment because it is time to roll <laughs> so the doomsday <gasps> clock advances every half hour because this is a single session so 30 minutes has passed and that means out of the nine moments only eight in and because this is um there are some omens that are remaining so omens are like subplots you don't know them yet but they all contribute to the doom in some way think of them as like mini challenges mini scenes that will keep on moving in the background so there are three omens left that means i will roll um three d6s if any of them are a five or a six we will use up another moment all right rolling now okay Okay. Ah, that is okay. So I rolled a two, a five, and a six. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! god. <laughs> so that eats up two moments. There are now six moments left. So if we eat up one moment every half hour, that gives us, you know, three hours. And uh, three hours, not quite bad. But if the omens are still up, that could be even faster. And this could be quite a short story. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So oh, six moments left. So Everybody has now been ushered into the ballroom. So I'll start the timer again. So the ballroom is really quite grand. Think of like the, the most beautiful palaces in France. There's like gold, lots of white panel. The floor is so shiny and there's intricate patterns on the uh, floor itself. There are floral motifs, plant motifs. And so much clear windows and stream sun just streaming in. But strangely enough, even though the the gala is supposed to invite all of the plants from the kingdom, there's actually not quite a lot like you'd expect. Like there are some um, some weeds in the corner doing some strange shifty things. There are some wisteria that are just spreading their leaves and trellises everywhere with no care about boundary. And there are a couple of <laughs> plants just um, shuffling around, um, drinking some um, nice water that's fortified with nutrients, sunning themselves. <laughs> but it looks quite um, not as busy as you thought it would be. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, from behind you, the Venus flytraps have started streaming in. <laughs> I, I, like, look back, like, tut, tut, <laughs> at them. <laughs> so Bartleby, who is still, who has climbed back up on Brave Sir Knight's shoulder, he says, oh, I hope this is okay, the arthritis has gotten really bad. He says, um, well, the, the butler Mayflower is usually uh, organizing things, flitting about here and there, and making sure the plant's needs are quite well met. Uh, I do not see her now, but um, perhaps if the moment we spot her, we can make our case and she can lead us to the prince. This is quite a nice ballroom. This is actually the first time I've been here. He's just ah, yes, scoping. As it is out. Nice, yes. yes. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Isabel has those like theater glasses out of nowhere, just like on this long stick, just like, oh, yes, it's quite nice. <laughs> some gentle music, a very happy um, occasion, some slight dancing. Oh, yeah, I think uh, Scarlet Hood is definitely like just doing a little, doing little twirls and just going, <laughs> and like swinging a basket around. <laughs> I think when the sulk walks in, he just makes a huge amount of noise because the barriers that are attached to him are just <laughs> dragging along the floor. I'm assuming it's like potentially like marble floor or whatever, so it's just horribly noisy. Nails on a chalkboard. Uh, yeah. So um, a large oh like mass of wisteria flowers and leaves and vines approaches sulk and like, I say, I have never seen quite a creature as you. We have not... Uh, we do not have one of your people in our town. Oh, interesting. Interesting. W w is this like a, a native custom from where you come from? Very nice, very nice. And then she calls on to some of her like girlfriends and they crowd around Sock and say, oh, Marvelous, Marvelous, truly a, a nice specimen. <laughs> and they are 
Yeah. And they're just Sulk <laughs> is very <laughs> confused and is just looking at them. <laughs> uh, could I use my like uh, I've got like thieves tools and whatnot. Um, could I use um, like tinkering maybe to snip away the <laughs> the barriers and stuff and <laughs> and uh, yeah, free him. <laughs> uh, so I think for this one, since you mm -hmm. there's really not a lot of like difficulty, and you can make maybe make take your time with it. We'll just say it auto succeeds, and you snip away at it. And the wizard is like, oh, interesting, interesting. The cooperation between these humans very laudable, and they are quite gossiping <laughs> around you. Um, meanwhile, um, a small um one of the green rabbits bumps into you and says, ah, ah, sorry, sorry. Um, I. He, he grumbles, takes out a notebook, makes some notes on his uh, pages, and then moves away. And he just goes about looking at the arches, makes a note, and says, I'm not structurally sound. And this is what he, the blueprints are not being respected here. Though. Yeah. And he tests something on the ground. It seems to be a pressure plate. And then you hear a weird scraping noise, and he just says, yeah, it's not working. It's expected. <laughs> what is that? What was that you just pressed on? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Bartleby, is this uh, is this the fellow we're looking for? Uh, Bartleby's like, oh no no no, that that is one of the the architects of the Summer Palace. He comes here every couple of months, checks if the clearances and the the building is still okay. Uh, honestly, I don't know much about him. Um, he seems nice, but he he is not the uh, the butler. I'm so sorry. However, though, he might know about some secret passages that we could take, perhaps. Ooh, castles are so exciting, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> um, Isabel's just like, okay, so you press down on the plate. Imagine this, maybe some kind of pulley or a lever. And then imagine, imagine, what do you think? <laughs> Are you are you trying to prepare a trap? <laughs> Isabel, what are you up to? <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm just interested. <laughs> I think... While Scarlet Hood is sort of, sort of meand like meanderingly dancing around and spinning, she's gonna be looking, um, for um, for someone who seems to be sort of, like managing, like you know taking charge or, or <laughs> talking to to people in a kind of commanding way. Um, I am just about managing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so as it happens, it would be the lead night from earlier. She has gotten back in. <laughs> now that it seems that the the rocket rockets making people who have managed to ruin the barriers have left, <laughs> she was able to delegate the visitor logbook to another night. And now she has walked back into the ballroom and is just keeping an eye out, making sure that the uh, security is okay, making sure that the refreshments are are completely replenished. Uh, she seems to be taking in charge while the butler is still missing. Okay. Yeah, I think um, I think Scarlet Hood is gonna very casually sort of waltz her way. <laughs> Uh, and sort of accidentally sort of knock into the into the, the head knight um, and she's gonna try <laughs> she's gonna try and like pick her pocket <laughs> in the hopes oh of finding wow. like, a, like a key or something <laughs> yeah okay so you are <laughs> picking her pocket that would definitely require a skull check i think for this it could either be you could either justify using um coordination because it is quite um fine coordination with your hands and just deftly sneaking it in or you could even do something mm -hmm. like guile again to misdirect her attention so you could just grab her pockets yeah, yeah. i think her her bumping into her uh, is going to be like the kind of distraction and she's gonna be she's gonna giggle very loudly while she's doing it <laughs> she's like, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry all right so uh, and while she's doing that she's gonna be like getting out of the pocket. <laughs> so i'm gonna ask you to 
to actually make an un slightly unrelated check, either an observe or a tactics, because the knight is wearing an armor, and you're not quite sure where the pockets are. Okay, I think she will. Yeah, she'll use her. She'll probably know from my pockets. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're implying. Um, yeah, I think she's going to use her observational skills. Um, yeah. And yeah, I think, I mean, logically, she's probably, I would say she's probably doing this. I mean, I could make a, 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 a grounds for creativity, but um, I guess like trying to, find a, a way of like a accessing the the pocket area <laughs> <laughs> maybe careful i don't know yeah i mean careful's probably the more it makes sense <laughs> yeah okay well we're rolling a one but i my target number is is one <laughs> but anybody like to <laughs> a, i've got one in observation assist with a major bond that would add a plus one if you have one full box of bonds with Scarlet Hood. I do not condone this. <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody yeah. condones this. Oh, oh, okay. No. You are on your own, Scar. I don't have a bond, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm on okay, well. I would have done it. In fact, Brave Tonight is literally hands on hips, like, <laughs> not this again. <laughs> okay. Well, I rolled a six, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was never going to work. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, that does mean that the head knight notices you, and she feels quite riled up because, you know, it, it's you guys again. You have been making so much trouble. That is it. No more Mr. Nice Knight. We have broken at least two administrative orders, which means, according to the protocol, I am authorized to sentence you to the Dungeon of Bees. So the <laughs> Sorry, what's an extra dungeon of what bees? Dungeon of bees. That's <laughs> never a good thing. Not the bees. <laughs> Not the bees. So, um, Not bees. So she tries her best to make the other guests um ignore the hubbub that's happening, but it's quite clear that she is very determined to escort you personally herself alongside three or four of her knights down to the dungeon of bees. Um, whereabouts is she taking me? Like, is she, does it look like she's taking me somewhere off the kind of public area? Yes, it is kind of like um, a long staircase down, three corridors to the left. You have to duck in under some really low ceilings, and that would lead to the Dungeon of Bees. Yeah. Before Just follow the sound we... of the buzzing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before we get so, before we, <laughs> before we start getting like, is it all of us or is it just Scarlet? <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, she has seen you again and she has remembered. <laughs> so it's okay. all of us. It's not just the little girl. Well, it most like it's gonna be the little girl and Salt. Okay. And Salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I mean, she can try. She she, she looks <laughs> oh, at um, no. she looks at Sir Brave Sir Knight and also Isabel and like, uh, very well. The, the rules do say you are not the agitators in this incident. So just just the the large red person and I must protest the the small child. She is just that a child. I will take yeah, her punishment. Just a touch. I think she's just a touch. I, think, I didn't even yeah. do anything. Oh, my God. Under Scarlet Hood so. is. <laughs> it's definitely like bursting into tears and by I mean like tears <laughs> I mean like streams of water coming out of her eyes cartoonish <laughs> oh yeah like the... yeah. I wrap my arms around her and I'm like please she's just a child she's please she knows not Brave what she like, do <laughs> gets on his knees and like unstraps yeah. his best <laughs> breastplate and reveals his chest and says let me take the punishment for her please take him instead she is but a young child. Please. Her legal guardian was killed in a mysterious explosion. No one knows what it was. <laughs> so there is so much tears. There is so much um, pleading. It's like rivers. <laughs> and like, like I'm imagining like Brave Sir Knight kneeling there, like chest exposed, <laughs> and like two rivers of water like flowing either side. And then just sulk is just. <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't, I'm just stood there watching and a bit like confused. Um, <laughs> People have started just... revealing their chests and fr- frustrating themselves yeah. on the floor. <laughs> There's a there's a duck tattoo, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the song feels like he's missed something. <laughs> um, unfortunately, oh the God. lead knight is quite set in her ways, and in her view, yes, under man. the <laughs> legal laws of this kingdom, children are recognized as their own persons. And the the lead knight also says, "Well, at least it's just the dungeon of beasts. Could have been the tr- dungeons of scorpions that would have been so harder to clean up." So she starts. How big they is... not both sting? <laughs> How big is the the lead knight? Um, she's fairly. Oh no, <laughs> she, she's not quite as tall she... as you. She's fairly tall, maybe like taller than six feet. Um, but definitely okay. not the same as the salt. Okay. Ah, were you planning to? <laughs> I was. I mean, I, I was gonna pick her up. But yes. Yeah. She seems. <laughs> she seems quite tall. She's tall and she is quite heavy. <laughs> So the the knights lead you to the Dungeon of Bees. So as I've mentioned, it is staircase down Mm -hmm. where there's left. Down here a bit because the ceiling is a bit low. And the doors are open and it's surprisingly quite a well-lit dungeon. So there are some cells on it and then you are led to... To be fair, it is a nice looking cell. It's The seats are hard but they're not completely like concrete. There is a table there, the pitcher of water, and a book that a pamphlet that says how to bees. And then the <laughs> the knight basically just says, you will spend uh, a day, let's see, um, depending on the severity of the incident, I think six hours should be fine, and then my guards will come pick you up, and I hope you have reflected on the wrongdoings you have made. Now, excuse me, I will go back up, and she... She leaves you there, and um, surprisingly, they there are no guards who are guarding you. Although the the door to the cell is locked. Can I try and bend the bars? <laughs> Just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> step out immediately. Yeah. Um, I don't think Hulk would. I think Hulk would not. Like just sit there. Hulk. I think he. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hulk. Hulk. <laughs> what? Why are we talking about? Hulk? What's a Hulk? <laughs> what are you talking about, Lolly? <laughs> I think it's because he's such a hulking guy. Yes. Okay. That yeah. I just... like the Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's where yeah. they got the name from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, you are about to um move and touch the bars, but then you hear a voice from a nearby cell say. I wouldn't advise that if I were you. The song continues. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, I'm not gonna ask you to roll. However, as you you strain, you try pulling the bars. It's actually quite moving, but then it suddenly turns into bees. <laughs> <laughs> buzzes oh, around God. you angrily uh, stings you a little bit it's not gonna hurt you so much but it's quite annoying and then they reform back into bars can we just establish oh. something yes is Scarlet Hood in the same cell as the yeah. Sulk I'm oh, sorry is Scarlet Hood what <laughs> is she in the same cell as the Sulk ah yes you are all in the same cell <laughs> okay. oh we did get dragged down as well okay. oh we here yeah. uh no, I think it was just me. I think it was just Scarlet Hood and the Sulk that are in the cell. I don't think you two were considered. Yeah, you're just yeah. relatively all right. I think that's what's going on here. Um, yeah, I think Scarlet Hood is currently in the corner with her hood around her, like just be like, Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> these bees are like angrily stinging. The I sulk. think the Sulk does it again, like. <laughs> <laughs> there couldn't there couldn't have been a correlation between these no things, so. no yeah definitely not in he a place. thinks some yeah. yeah he doesn't really he just does he doesn't really think as i say he just does so he's just gonna try again so you try again and this time the bees get really much angrier and when they reform it's almost like a solid block of wall which is a couple of holes in so you can see outside and compared to before they now faintly buzzing so actually you you are right um it is just car hood and the sulk isabel and brave sir knight and also the very confused barrel bee um you have the option either following with them or perhaps if you'd like hatch an escape plan somehow 
Mm. Uh, do they have visiting hours in the? I was going to ask. Of, of course, hours. it yeah. is a very humane dungeon of bees. The visiting hours is <laughs> up before five p.m., but only for three minutes. Okay, I, we would like to. Uh, well, um, if you would like to follow me, Isabel, uh, I would like to yes. use my thirty minutes for the day to come and see what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would also like to do so. Is the would it be offensive to all the plants if I somehow gathered flowers? <laughs> as a, not like as an offering for the bees, you see. <laughs> um, <laughs> to sate the bees. <laughs> find the like the juiciest, polliniest looking flower yeah. person who's standing around. And let's yeah. invite oh, them God. with us. Juicy. Juicy. Well, ah. um, there are some of the wisteria, the ones Bees who... are thirsty. <laughs> Ooh. The Wisteria are the ones who were like super fascinated with the talk earlier. There are also a couple of other plants, like um white flowers, small blue ones, you're just scurrying around on the floor trying not is to get Is there trampled. one Is there a flower that's wearing a pair of tracksuit bottoms that just say juicy on the butt? <laughs> <laughs> And do they smell of nectar? <laughs> oh, uh, there is bloody oh, There is indeed one, and she's wearing a beehive hairdo. Oh, perfect! Amazing. Love her. Um, it's about the same uh, time you're back. Okay, she is gonna stretch, and then uh, she's going to head into the midst of the of the flowers and say, "Sock tour." Tour to see the sock. Would anyone like to come on a tour <laughs> and meet the sock face to face? Um, discuss more about the sock. The big man from before. <laughs> Would anyone like <laughs> the big... any takers? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this. You've got a little <laughs> drawing. <laughs> Stick figure. Like a really crude. Yeah. <laughs> Brave tonight just sort of like talks to himself momentarily. It's like, ah, this is one of those deceptions. I can do this. Come on. Come on, Brave tonight. <laughs> Yes, the sulk. <laughs> Come and meet him. You, I promise, you'll be happy. So you won't be um, oh sulking. That would be quite offensive, wouldn't it? No, I won't say that. <laughs> you won't be sad. <laughs> yes. So um, yes, good. Who exactly are you speaking to? Is it the juicy flower? Juicy, yeah. <laughs> juicy. I was, I was, I'll mainly address it to the juicy one, but yeah. also I'll like, if anyone else wants to come on the salt tour, they may. <laughs> this is not the first time we have, we have associated horniness with a uh, with plant life. Yeah. So. Oh no. <laughs> what does that say about Team Dicebreaker? <laughs> All you need to know. Look, we're horticulturalists. <laughs> <laughs> so the the juice one is quite interested, but Plant you'd sexual. have to make um, a skill check depending on how you would like to frame your argument. I, um, if I'm being like deceptive, then guile. If you want just like straight charisma, that's also a thing. Whatever you it's want. up to you. I let you pick. Whatever you want. Kyle would be lovely. Yeah. <laughs> you are inventing um, something. And would you so, be like yeah. inventing an outlandish lie, or would you be carefully cherry picking out the details, or would you be like uh, basically concertedly overwhelming her with lying the false so things? hard? <laughs> so hard. I would love to say it was creative, but I do think it's more concerted. Like, come one, come all to the <laughs> to the sock tour. Um, so I'll go with concerted. <laughs> Um, which will give me a three plus to pass. I rolled a six. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, the juicy That's one is three. not convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Sir Knight like, uh, <laughs> very well, my lady. The most beautiful flower, I must ask of you a sincere apology, but also a favor, if you will. She said, oh, okay. <laughs> she <laughs> nods, essentially. <laughs> I uh, have two dear friends who... And he starts tearing up a little bit. I have two dear friends who have been placed in prison. I cannot say whether or not they truly deserve it, but I simply wish it was myself who was in their place. I would gladly take the punishment for them. But you understand, feudalism has... Many crimes itself, and yet 
They are the ones being punished. You must ask yourself whether or not this is truly the correct decision. I merely ask that you help us come and visit them. And therefore we can ascertain whether they are supposed to be in prison. By my own divine rights, I guess. <laughs> it was... And then, if not, we will do something about it. Sokoto! <laughs> <laughs> fairly convincing until he said by my divine right I guess <laughs> but uh, when you mention the word feudalism her her, her bountiful juicy <laughs> chunky flower perks up and she said feudalism are we saying we're gonna we're gonna say um, screw the system we're gonna upend monarchy and feudalism and be rebels perhaps yes. I could not say <laughs> However, you know, I would... as I am sure most people in this kingdom do, I no longer serve a lord. I only serve the people. And if it's a people's revolution that this calls for, then very well! <laughs> I would like to assist, because I do have two minor bonds with tonight, so, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if possible. <laughs> um, Alright, so I will ask Sir Brave Sir Knight to make a charisma. <laughs> Uh, this is that, as all things are with him. I think this is concerted again. Um, so concerted plus charisma is three. Uh, is is your is you helping as well? Giving me a reroll? Is I think it? it's a reroll. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, that's a six. <laughs> this would be great if it was the other way around. Yep. yep. Uh, and that's a five. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> Why are rolling. we so good at rolling? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So actually the. The juicy one who goes by the name of Eva, but for the rest of this session, we'll call her the juicy one because it, she really prefers that term. She's actually quite <laughs> um, it, already it. willing to go along, but because of the failure, she will think that you're here to institute a people's revolution to take down the... <laughs> The monarchy and the aristocracy. No, nobody said we were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about that. That's fine. <laughs> so she um, she follows you along to the dungeon of bees. So what do you do? You see that <laughs> it's the security is surprisingly lax because they're focusing on the gala and also the the line for the visitor logbook. Um, it's it's a very strange prioritization of the knights. But you see <laughs> the sulk and um, scarhood in their cells immediately upon seeing sonk behind bars uh <laughs> and and also scarlet uh brave tonight just like dashes over gets on his knees and like holds the bars <laughs> like my friends what have they done to you <laughs> uh, you're shh, quiet down. They're going to hear you. Quiet down. And <laughs> um, justice. So, the, sulk, the sulk is like is has kind of given up by now, trying to do the bar thing, and he just kind of like has this little like sulky face and goes, "Sulk in jail." <laughs> <laughs> sulk no. Unfortunately, brave sir knight. The moment you start shaking, the <laughs> it does oh, turn God. into bees. <laughs> However, <laughs> we are accompanied, are we not, by a juicy flower? <laughs> yes, the, the juicy one, as she is indeed known. So as the, the bees become agitated and float up, they, they immediately smell the nectar goodness of the juicy one oh, you not? and start buzzing around her. And she's like, oh no, I thought we were going to fight the aristocrats, not be surrounded by bees. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks quite Can what I is ask? the difference yes yes <laughs> is this going to kill her is it... <laughs> no the sulk is like it the sulk is like it it's perfectly they should, they should be playing bow chicken wow wow in the background no. if you know anything okay. about okay, plant right. biology <laughs> I do not too it's just gonna be as annoying as for bees. her yep <laughs> okay as soon as the bees sort of flock to the juicy juicy one <laughs> um uh, before that, like Scarlet Hood had like huddled underneath her hood for protection from the bee swarm, but as soon as the bees go away, she like whiffs off the hood, like, and then like, <laughs> <laughs> like shoots out of the cell. As something darts past my knees, I'm like, oh, God. yeah, yeah, like a feral, like a feral animal. <laughs> 
kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> uh, I think I, uh, uh, Brave Tonight picks up uh, Ducky, the uh, the noble squire, and says, it's a good thing that Scarlet has left because I think she's a little too young to learn about the birds and the bees. Ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm trying to think, can I, is this something that I should ask you to make a roll for? Because it feels like you just damaged yeah, right. <laughs> See if the joke comes out. Uh, uh, burpees. <laughs> burpees. And then Sulk starts doing some burpees. Okay, so just to make it clear, you agitated the bees so they would um, form into a cloud around the juicy one. And then you're going to make a run for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I notice any witnesses in the cell <laughs> oh, yes. there's a there's that one other oh, prisoner good. there who's seeing what's happening who is that prisoner I'll just, like look uh, take a little look see hello well it, it's one of mm-hmm. the plants it, it, he's actually quite um leafy there are chilies around him he looks quite spicy oh Ooh, spicy friend spicy gentleman <laughs> Hi. spicy gentleman is what like, are you in don't for? leave me here <laughs> All right, and then <laughs> and then she'll uh, go up and she'll start um, shaking the bars, or she'll she'll you know what she'll use some some alchemy stuff with it to kind of like maybe draw the bees away, like leave say, them. Don't melt the bees. I'm not gonna melt the bees. <laughs> They're endangered. I'm not melt. I would never. <laughs> Just gotta save the bees. Okay. I will like make a little mini nectar like I don't know guide and like lead them over to juicy one. Um. <laughs> she now has even more bees around her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Dinner time. You ding, do ding. Have, um, and she'll tap against the bars. Can we call tools and I imagine something as simple as like sugar or honey or yeah, yeah. would lead yeah. her to the juicy one. So basically, as you run away from the dungeon of bees, the juicy one is like, I am betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> the revolution is not happening. <laughs> Curse you! Oh, you come listen. back for you, juicy one. <laughs> the anime betrayal. Yeah, so Terrible. she she hates the knighthood even much more if it, if it could be. Yeah, me. and that just marks another half hour. Ooh. Ooh. But we'll have to find out what happens in the next episode of the ARC RPG playthrough here on Dicebreaker. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be carrying on our Let's Play after this, but you'll be able to watch it next week on the next Saturday. Uh, thank you very much to Mamatos for running this for us. Do you want to give yourself a quick plug about where people can find All you? All right. So I am really active on Twitter. It is at Mamatos. I also do have a, met- a website, Mamatos.com. But if you want the freshest capybara memes, it would be the Twitter account. <laughs> you know I Where do. can people find more about ARC? Right, so for more about ARC, we do have a website, arc-rpg.com. We have there the latest news and some links to nice resources like the Quick Start and even a lovely character sheet. Ooh, which we're using right now and they're very very nice uh, very thank you very much for watching everyone we'll see you on the next episode but until then please do check out more of our videos here on youtube.com forward slash dicebreaker make sure to hit subscribe and like the video if you haven't already you can also click the bell icon to get notified whenever we put a new video live on top of that we've got all sorts of written articles including uh, previews on things like arc and all sorts of new rpgs that are coming out over on dicebreaker.com our home and hearth where lovely people like alex me and write fantastic articles uh, and last but not least you can support the channel even further by heading over to dicebreaker.myshopify.com to get some exclusive merch including (gasps) things like this lovely mug. Thank you very much for watching we'll see you on the next episode but until then have a lovely day. Goodbye! Bye! Bye!